Alrighty, let's move on to the next daily pattern. Try to get caught up here. Uh, this one is Violetka by Lila Holter. Um, step number one. Oh, I love this tangle too. It's, it's very organic. Step number one is you're going to put um, five dots sort of in a circle. <laughs> number two, you're going to just draw an amoeba-like shape around each of those dots. So they kind of look like flower petals. They're not. They're really organic. They're flowy, right? <laughs> then number three, you do another set and you can do them behind and so forth until you just keep growing them outward and uh, however many you want on the page and then you can embellish as you will that's how uh, she embellished hers but you don't have to you can do it however you feel led speaking of feeling led Yeah, I'm going to put this on pause for just a second. I'm going to turn off the telephone because I forgot to do that. And I'm going to go get my colored pencils because I feel like this one's going to want color. So just a moment. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I went and got my, my zipper case that has my markers and the one with my colored pencils. I love these zipper cases. If you ever see these on a sale, these are these are perfect. And my colored pencils and my other markers. I don't have a whole lot of colored pencils. That's it for my prism color pencils. But it's a big enough set to do what I want to do. I don't know if I'm going to want a marker or if I'm going to want a color, but anyway. So I just, uh, I don't know why, but it just, when I said embellish, all of a sudden it said color me. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put our dots. Remember, if you have any questions about the items that I use, I'm going to stick them in the description down below. Um, All right, I make myself a note to add the markers, the type of markers I use and the colored pencils uh, in my description. So if anybody asks, there it is. Okay, I am going to just let this organically grow. Two, three, four, five. Five dots, I suppose I can zoom in a little bit so you can see that better. Five dots, and we're just going to make an organic sort of a thing, kind of a petal like shape coming out and around, and out and around, and out and around, like so. That's the pattern. You can do this, I know you can. Okay, we're going to make another grouping of dots. And you're going to come out and around and out and around and out and around and out. And it would go around here somewhere and then coming here and then coming out like that. Here. I feel like 
that needs more of a dot in the middle. But the dots want to be more pronounced for me, I think. Either that or they want to be much smaller, one or the other. I think big is fine. Okay. These feel very mod 1960s, 19, er, early 1970s, flower power, flower child kind of a thing to me. I want to make one much bigger, but I need it to be closer also, so it overlaps more. Let's start with the one that doesn't overlap. It does, the dot does sort of anchor your things so you can fi find when you're doing the draw behind or so you can find where it, it would go. <laughs> Ooh. That didn't feel good. Every so often I'll get a little twinge in my jaw from, from the surgery. It just like a little zap, a little sting. Thank goodness it's not as bad as it was. Something like that. I feel like it needs For some reason, and I know why, but I've got the theme song to Austin Powers just going through my head. Shag me, baby. Okay, one more. I'm going to put one more right in here somewhere. I want it too close to the edge. Do 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 do. Okay. There we go. We have my page full of amoeba-like flower-ish things. Violetta. Violetka. I think I am going to put some kind of arm in them. Yeah. Need arms? Yeah, they need arms. Kind of interior petal like thing.
میگی All right. I'm really very close. I hope I stayed in screen. If I didn't, I apologize. It's been so long since I've done this, I'm getting not used to it. Okay, so it wants it wants to be colored. I got a text message. What does it say? Oh, it says I can go to Joanne's and get 50% off one item. Okay. Uh, Violetka. V-I-O-L-E-T-K-A. Now, what I need to decide is do I want these colored penciled or do I want them markered? I don't know. I'm feeling marker, but. I'm not sure. Second to think here. Oop. I'm just bringing out a couple, testing them over here, deciding whether. Okay, they're not going to leak through. Okay, I think I'm going to do marker. I'm feeling like the centers need to be all the same, and I'm feeling this sort of brownish red color. They don't have color names on them. They're an Artist Loft watercolor dual tip marker. They came, came in a big set. They were a pretty good bargain. I don't remember exactly how much I spent on them, but uh, I think they were 10 or $15 for, it looks like it's Two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-four. Is that a twenty-four markers? So that wasn't a bad deal. I'm feeling this sort of 1960s or 70s brown. This is one of the colors that we had in our shag carpet at home. We had many colors in our shag carpet at home. Actually, did we have this brown? This, this brown might not have been there. Our, our carpet was more of the gold, yellows and creams and golds, but there might have been some brown in there. Um, my dad's house had and continues to have to this day, which is hard for, they have replaced their carpet. My dad has replaced his carpet more than once with the same carpet. <clears throat> And that is, was not easy to do, to find the same black and white shag carpet and keep replacing it with the same carpet. Um, I know we had kind of a blue-green shag in one of the rooms. We always... 
and it was a room where you stepped down. It was an addition. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was an addition. Um, and it used to be back porch, so you stepped actually stepped down into it. And uh, since it was sort of this bluish green color, my sister and I always pretended that it was a swimming pool. And then we jumped into the swimming pool and we had to swim across this carpet. That was fun. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. And then I think I'm going to just go with some bright, fun colors and do it with the blue. What did I do with the blue? There it is. Ay, ay, ay. Blue's in my head. I have discovered that having pain in your teeth makes your whole head not function properly. It really does. myself I had what, what I considered pain fog where you are in so much pain I'm probably sure a lot of you understand this when you're in so much pain that your brain just it's all you can do to just get through the day and you don't remember <clears throat> a lot of stuff like we got off the ship my, my tooth started hurting on the last day I'm so thankful, so very thankful that it didn't start to hurt earlier. And I had the opportunity to get to the dentist right away the next morning. But, um, yeah, there's some parts of of that day that I don't recall. Not, not as light a color as I had hoped. I'm not sure I care for that. But it's there now. So we're going with it. Right? Absolutely. It's darker than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna I'm going to test these colors over here on another page before I commit to them. This cap color does not match what actually comes out of here, which is annoying. I'm going to have to mark. On some of them, I notice I did, so I just haven't done it on all of them yet, but I'm going to have to mark. That's perfect 70s color though. Sort of an olive avocado green. Perfect color. We had an avocado green refrigerator, did we? No, I think our refrigerator was white. Somebody did though. I, I'm clearly seeing an avocado green refrigerator in my head. Maybe it was the washer and dryer. But see, that cap color really looks nothing like the pen color. Not really. Okay, let's have another go. Let's have a yellow. It needs a pink in here too, a hot pink. Maybe after I color with the, with the markers. 
Maybe I'll go back through with my colored pencils to shade with. That might work good. I don't really know why I decided to color these. I could have just shaded and been done. But no. No, you decided coloring is the thing to do. Not sure you guys really want to just sit here and watch me color. So, you know, fast forward. Zippity on down the road there. That one's not as neon as I hoped. Oh, maybe this orange. Um, I think I want another yellow. Let's see if this other yellow, how, how different is it from the first yellow? Not that much. The set comes with three yellows. You can't tell that much difference apart. Okay, now which orange did I use? I used that one, I think. I shouldn't have put them away until I was done. Yeah, I'll use this one. It's a different orange. See what this turquoisey is that a turquoise? That's a turquoise, that's a good color. Stick that in here. Different color than that one. If there's one that's sort of got a crimson color to it for that middle one. Let's see, what do these reds look like? That one's not bad. I'll use that one. I'm not a 
think I'm going to do is I'm going to use my cool gray Using a little piece of scrap paper and testing what that color will look like with the colors I already used. Yep, yeah, those are good. Okay, I'm just going to do this for shading instead of graphite. Just going to go around these areas where things are overlapping. That way you'll still see the color through. The gray will mix with the colors underneath. I'll give it just a little bit of separation that I think was lacking, make it a little bit more dimensional. That'll do. Just a little bit. Very, very mod. That's where I went with it. That would look really good on a cruise ship. Just saying. Here we go. Very pretty. I like it. You guys have a blessed day. Go out and be a blessing to somebody else. Do something nice for someone else because, you know, way to make the world a better place because everybody says right now that the world kind of stinks and the way to make the world a better place is to be nice to each other. And if everybody was nicer to each other, things would be so much better. You guys help make the world a better place. See you tomorrow. Bye.